Hi, and welcome to Politics NY with Sky. Schneps Media is asking each candidate running for New York City office this year three questions in three minutes. And right now, I have the pleasure of being with incumbent Councilwoman Farah Lewis from the 45th District in Brooklyn. So let's get to know her a little bit and talk about her campaign and what she's done and why she's seeking re-election this year. Hi, Sky. Thank you so much for having me. I love this whole initiative. I'm happy to join you this morning. Thank you for doing so. Now, tell us about a little bit about your background for people who don't know you. So my name is Councilmember Farrah Lewis. I represent the 45th Council District in Brooklyn that encompasses Flatbush, East Flatbush, Midwood, Flatlands, Canarsie, a little bit of Kingsington. And I was born and raised in Brooklyn. I'm a Brooklyn girl. I was coined the Flatbush girl. Um, many years ago when I was running. I'm a proud product of New York City public schools. I'm the daughter of Caribbean parents and grew up in a pro-union household in Flatbush. Uh, my upbringing propelled me into community organizing and fighting for my community. I had a passion to fight for young women and girls in my community, particularly immigrants who migrated here to the States and needed a leg up and support. Um, I got my bachelor's degree in journalism and in English. Uh, I had a passion for media. I thought I was going to be Oprah one day. It didn't work out. Um, and I somehow got led into public service and enjoy supporting my community and being a change maker. And I ran for office in 2019 um, as council member for this district and became the co-chair of the Women's Caucus, vice co-chair of the Black Latino Asian Caucus, and enjoying my time working really hard for my community. What was it that inspired you to go ahead and run for office and change your career path? So I have, there's many different reasons why, but um, my background in community organizing, I started an organization called Girls Leading Up, where I was supporting young girls from my community, getting the mentors and sponsors in particular careers that they were interested in. And one of those careers um, that I was really passionate about was the unconventional careers. Um, if you're Caribbean, you know that your parents want you to become a lawyer or engineer or a doctor. And I basically encourage young girls, try to become you know, a publicist or get into media, uh, become a carpenter. There's so many different jobs out there. And I remember meeting my predecessor and being offered a job to work in public service uh, in the council office. And I enjoyed my time in government. I learned so much about policy, uh, budgetary affairs, and really helping the community in really meaningful ways. So when the opportunity came up for an open seat, my community approached me. Uh, I have a very diverse community. Uh, there's uh, the Jewish community, South Asian community, Caribbean community, and everyone approached me to run for office. And I considered it, and it's been a, a fun journey ever since. Now, you have some competitors this year. Are you concerned about holding your council seat in the 45th district? Um, we can never take anything for granted, so I'm definitely working hard to ensure that um, I could win the seat on June 22nd. Um, I'm not really concerned. My job is to deliver for my district, and I've been doing that ever since I got elected in 2019. We have the first recreational center ever in our district that's going to be built. Um, we were able to secure funding for affordable housing, the first senior affordable housing for this district, the ribbon cutting is this Sunday and we worked on it for the last two years. I secured another senior housing uh, project that's going to be constructed pretty soon. Um, I've been delivering for this district when it comes to real needs, capital projects, the food insecurity issues that we have due to the pandemic. And I've been trying to find ways legislatively to address the digital divide. And I wanna be the champion to bridge that gap. So for me, the goal is to continue to deliver for the district and to make sure that we have the resources we need. And I know how to get to City Hall, make those relationships and bring it back home. And that is three questions in three minutes with Council Member Farrah Lewis. Thank you for joining Politics NY with Sky.